Another feature added in PHP 5.3 is late static binding, or the ability to do late static binding. Let me show you through an example what the problem was that uh, late static binding corrected. So let's say you have a class person, and this person has a static, this class person has a static variable. Let's say status equals this is a person. So easy enough. And then we have a static method which gives us this information from the class. But actually not the class, or not the instantiated class, but the class itself because it's static. We say here self status. So that will work wonderfully. If we say echo, for instance, person, and get status. Put a break at the end of that. So if we run this, we should see this is a person. And when we run it, we see unidentified class constant get status. Of course, because we didn't add this, we'll run it again. And we see this is a person. Now, what if we were to add another class? Let's say employee, which is a kind of person, therefore it inherits or extends person. And it has its own static variable. Status, this is an employee. And now if we change this to employee, what do you think we're going to get as output here? Are we going to get this is an employee or are we going to get this is a person? Most programmers would think we're going to get this is an employee. And what do we get? We go to the browser, F5, we get this is a person. Why is that? The reason is that we haven't instantiated a class so that the self doesn't refer to person, it refers to the highest class in the inheritance and that is person. PHP 5.3 enables us to say instead of self, static, which then gives us exactly what we want, F5, and this is an employee. So this is a way to solve the problem that we have had up until PHP 5.3, which didn't allow us to get static variables from classes which inherit other classes. And now in PHP 5.3, we can do that with the static prefix here.